Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Siebland and in this video we're going to talk about what's the difference between a regular dry sauna and an infrared sauna. So uh, both of them are effective ways of uh, getting the benefits of the heat, but they do have like some minor differences. So I'm going to talk about what are the differences and I'm going to tell you which one <laughs> would you get if you had to only choose one. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it! If you haven't seen, then I have actually like a really long uh, video as well, like an hour long video about uh, basically all the benefits of the sauna and heat and uh, all the studies and those kind of things, the main studies about that. So you can check it out as well, the link is in the description. But as a brief overview, I'll tell you like shortly what happens during the heat is that you basically experience this uh, hyperthermic conditioning, your body temperature elevates, your uh, heart rate increases, uh, you experience this small amount of heat stress that has this hormetic benefit on the body. One of the biggest effects you see from the heat is that uh, you see a decrease in the cardiovascular disease markers, your risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke goes down, you experience uh, less uh, muscle atrophy, your risk of neurodegeneration goes down, and your health span tends to increase, uh, which is all the result of this uh, hypothermic conditioning. And a lot of these effects are mediated by many things. Most of it is coming from just the improved uh, heart health, improved blood flow, endothelial functioning, uh, nitric oxide, um, lower blood pressure, as well as the activation of these uh, heat shock proteins that uh, repair protein aggregates and uh, re repair misfolded proteins as well. So it's uh, just a way the body uh, helps to uh, repair the damage as well as uh, basically get stronger from a fitness perspective. You get like a small exercise mimetic effect that uh, just uh, mimics some aspects of uh, exercise. The difference between the infrared sauna and the regular dry sauna is that uh, the infrared sauna kind of uh, heats your body from the inside out. So you have these infrared uh, light bulbs uh, heating your body, penetrating your body deeper into the tissue and going deeper in there. And uh, that's where your body starts to increase its core temperature and starts to get those benefits as well. Whereas with the traditional sauna, you have the stove and the stove heats the air around you and uh, it heats up the room. So your body will heat from the outside in basically. So here are the uh, main differences between the dry heat sauna and the infrared sauna. So uh, with the regular sauna you see a much higher temperature. You can uh, heat up the room much uh, higher. Usually it's going to be around like 70 to 80, 100 degrees Celsius. Whereas with the infrared saunas the temperatures tend to stick around like 50 to 60 degrees uh, Celsius. Some may even go up to 70 but uh, usually most of the time it's going to be 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Uh, but despite that um, you still get like adequate effects in terms of the heat check proteins. You still get like the increased blood flow, increased uh, hypothermic conditioning. So uh, even though the uh, temperature is a bit lower uh, in the infrared, you subject that your body subjectively still experiences almost the same amount of uh, heat stress because of the infrared uh, wavelengths kind of penetrating your deeper into the tissue. So in terms of that, I think they're kind of uh, similar in uh, that you think or you feel as if the dry heat sauna is a hotter, uh, which it certainly is, but it doesn't mean that it has like more health benefits. Disappointed! When it comes to the sweating side, then uh, this one um, I think depends a lot on people. Some people sweat more in the dry heat sauna, some others in the infrared sauna. Um, with the infrared, I think um, the sweat can be a bit uh, greater because the temperatures aren't that high. And uh, whereas with the uh, dry heat sauna, because the temperatures are significantly higher, then you actually shut down some of the sweating as well a little bit. So if it's too hot, actually, then uh, you're not going to sweat nearly as much as it is like mildly hot. No, what the both of them have is that both of them, yeah, do improve your heart health. Uh, both of them increase blood flow. Both of them make you excrete uh, toxins and heavy metals. Um, both of them have a beneficial effect on the immune system and can kill off infections. And uh, yeah, both of the benefits in terms of the health are very similar. So it doesn't matter which one you take. Um, the uh, basically you get some some the dry heat sauna does the same thing as the infrared sauna so to say so you get similar benefits from that now the only difference between them is that uh, the infrared sauna actually has an additional benefit that you don't get from the regular sauna so that is the infrared wavelengths and the infrared wavelengths uh, penetrate your uh, tissues and uh, skin much more deeper uh, or you know the regular sauna even doesn't do that so there is no penetration from the uh, regular sauna uh, whereas with the infrared sauna it goes uh, much deeper and has like some uh, unique additional health benefits that you get from that and the study is also find that yeah the uh, infrared sauna does have uh, benefits on the cardiovascular disease risk factors it improves arterial uh, function endothelial uh, function and uh, just improves the outcomes when it comes to heart failure 
and overall uh, cardiovascular health. Some additional benefits is that the infrared uh, also improves the skin health. So uh, yeah, it can <laughs> improve things like cellulite, uh, just skin condition itself, wrinkles, and those kind of things is what you don't really get from the traditional sauna, but you do get it from the infrared. And there are studies actually that finding yeah, infrared radiation, you know, it uh, is not like significant, uh, it's not crazy results, but it's still good enough, I think, for a lot of people to consider using infrared as well, um, in addition to the regular sauna. And this also applies to the brain, uh, so the uh, infrared can also penetrate deeper into the skull, so to say, uh, penetrate into the brain and uh, stimulate like neurogenesis and synaptogenesis in there, uh, has this positive hormetic effect uh, via that, and again, maybe more, maybe actually more beneficial for neurodegeneration than the regular sauna, because you get both the heat as well as the uh, skull penetration uh, with uh, the neurogenesis effect from the uh, uh, infrared wavelengths. So in conclusion, as you can see, uh, both of the uh, regular sauna and the infrared sauna have um, positive benefits on health. Uh, both of them have heart disease uh, prevention effects. Both of them improve uh, neurodegeneration or reduce the risk of neurodegeneration. Uh, but I would say that um, the infrared actually has some additional unique benefits that you don't get from the uh, traditional sauna. And uh, obviously the infrared isn't that hot in terms of the temperatures and it may not provide as much as an exercise mimetic effect. You may not improve your cardiovascular disease risk factors as much as you would with the regular sauna. Uh, but like the infrared wavelengths themselves can be you know, much more preferable in terms of um, you know, uh, the skin condition, cellulite, uh, joint pain, maybe arthritis, as well as the neurogeneration for your brain. So you are able to uh, penetrate deeper into the tissues and provide some additional benefits uh, from that. If I were to choose only one or the other, like, you know, no other choice than to just use one, then I would say I would choose the infrared uh, because of the, uh, yeah, the additional uniqueness of the infrared wavelengths. Uh, but fortunately, I have both. Like, I have uh, both the traditional sauna and the uh, infrared. On a daily basis, I use the uh, infrared for a little bit, and I use the traditional sauna maybe once or twice a week or something like that. One of the best infrared sauna brands is uh, Clearlight because they have a low EMF, uh, saunas and uh, the uh, wavelengths are also uh, appropriate so I think that is kind of the, one of the best uh, brands uh, out there when it comes to infrared saunas. All right that's it for this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seem stay optimized stay empowered.